everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. We have another record-breaking event this time in Antarctica, and the North Pole is also doing something very strange. Now, I just barely recorded the video about the largest wildfire in Texas history, but I'm going to post this on Sunday, so you should be listening to this on Sunday, but I, I did it Saturday night. Um... <laughs> So just as a reminder, in case you didn't watch the last one, so we just had the largest wildfire in Texas state history, right? And then we had the huge dust storm over Europe that's mainly so far affected Spain and Portugal, but it was a very um, rare kind of event uh, in terms of magnitude. It was rare, um, and it's I think it's still ongoing. We had the <clears throat> undersea volcano in Tonga that went off that was the loudest volcano uh, since the uh, 1800s if I'm rem if I'm remembering that right um, you know so weather earth nature it is going crazy and this is the latest entry it looks like okay so what's going on this is from US News and World Report. We also have USA Today, NPR, uh, France 24, and then uh, Oregon, what's this called? Oregon Live, the, the Argonian. Okay, all these have some uh, something to add to this story. Okay, so uh, title, Hot Poles, Antarctica, Arctic 70 and 50 degrees above normal. Put that into perspective, okay? Now, I'm not very good with the metric system. Um, okay, so this is, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be talking about Fahrenheit, but think about 30 degrees Fahrenheit, right? That's uh, two degrees below the freezing point. So go 30 degrees and then add 70 degrees, and where are you at? You're at 100 degrees, Okay, <laughs> and then if you add 50 degrees, you're in the 80s. So, pretty dramatic. Pretty dramatic. Now, this is um, compared to the average for this time of year. So, I'm not saying that the temperature suddenly went up, uh, but <clears throat> this year, compared to the average, that's the difference. Uh, both the North Pole, the Arctic, and the South Pole, Antarctica, they are much hard, much hotter than usual. Okay, so let's read my highlights. So Antarctica is the one that's 70 degrees above normal. Uh, and then for everyone else, it's 40 degrees Celsius above normal. And then in the Arctic, it's 50 degrees above normal or 30 degrees Celsius above normal. Okay, <clears throat> weather stations in Antarctica shattered records Friday, uh, at the time of this recording, that was yesterday, as the region, as the region neared autumn. Um, the two-mile-high Concordia station was at 10 degrees, uh, minus 12.2 degrees Celsius, which is about 70 degrees warmer than average while the even higher Vostok station hit a shade above zero degrees, negative 17.7 degrees Celsius, beating its all-time record by about 27 degrees. Yeah, I, that's like blowing it out of the water. <laughs> that, that is quite the uh, new record. The coastal Terra Nova base was far above freezing at 44.6 degrees, which is 7 degrees Celsius. Um, <clears throat> okay, it caught officials at the net at the National Snow and Ice Data Center in Boulder, Colorado, by surprise because they were paying attention to the Arctic, where it was 50 degrees warmer than average, and areas around the North Pole were nearing or at the melting point. This is really unusual for mid-March, okay? So the, the warming up in um, the North Pole area, really unusual for March that we have this uh, melting going on or, or reaching the, being above the melting point, said center ice scientist Walt Meyer. Okay, political cartoons. <clears throat> okay, quote, 
they're opposite seasons. You don't see the North and the South Poles both melting at the same time, Meyer told the Associated Press Friday evening. It's definitely an unusual occurrence. Yeah, so, so think about that. We know that because of the tilt of the Earth, that's what causes the seasons, because when you're tilted uh, toward the sun, <clears throat> you, there's more time that the Earth is... Um, and it, Well, not only is there more time that the, the sun's rays are hitting uh, that part of the, the planet, the northern hemisphere, but um, it's also hitting it more directly. Right? So it heats up. So <clears throat> having both the North and the South Poles, which are two extremes, obviously, uh, you would expect that uh, they would basically kind of be opposite. But in this case, they're both warming up. Okay, and then Meyer said, it's pretty stunning. And then uh, University of Colorado ice scientist Ted Scambos says, wow, I've never seen anything like this in the Antarctic. <clears throat> And then he recently returned from an expedition to the continent. And then from University of Wisconsin meteorologist Matthew Lazara, not a good sign when you see that sort of thing. <laughs> really? Not a good... Okay, you guys, listen. It's not a good sign when you see that sort of thing happening. That's according to uh, this meteorologist. <laughs> <laughs> I never would have known. Um, okay, <clears throat> that's a temperature that you should not that you should see in January, not March. January is summer there. That's dramatic. Talking about Antarctica. Um, both Lazara and Meyer said what happened in Antarctica is probably just a random weather event and not a sign of climate change. Um, which I don't know. They, I'm sure that's their honest opinion. But if it happens again, or repeatedly, then it might be something to worry about. And uh, part of global warming, they said. So, uh, we're, we're going to have to watch and see what happens. Um, <clears throat> either way, regardless of what the cause is, this is a crazy event. Now, let's see what it says uh, on USA Today. Okay. <clears throat> Officials at the National Snow and Ice Data Center in Boulder, Colorado, have been watching the, the Arctic, which has been warming two or three times faster than the rest of the globe. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Um, it had been experiencing temperatures unusual for mid-March, as it is nearing or at the melting point. Okay, so we already talked about that. Here's a like a picture. This is on Twitter. Uh, the temperatures here, obviously blue, the darker blue and then purple um, is colder and then red is hot. So you, you see up here it is really quite warm. And it's it's really warm down here too in, in Antarctica. I'm assuming that this white spot right here cor <laughs> corresponds with um, this extreme of the scale, the hot side, rather than this white over here. So big hot spots on the top and at the bottom of the globe. Um, Okay, Meyer and University of Wisconsin meteorologist Matthew Lazar say the Antarctica heat wave is a rare occurrence um, rather than a significant sign of climate change. What likely happened was a big, a quote unquote, big atmospheric river pumped in warm and moist air from the Pacific southward. Okay, so may maybe that's all it is, but it's still <clears throat> it's still rare and it's record breaking. So again, whether it's climate change or not, something's going on. <laughs> something something unprecedented is going on. Uh, however, if this persists, then it would be something to worry about. <laughs> not a good sign when you see that sort of thing happen. No, no, it's not. Oh, that's a lovely CPAP mask. <laughs> <laughs> they call that a nose pillow. They have like masks that go over your whole face like that. That's what I have because I have sleep apnea. Um, but I've not seen a nose pillow like that. She she looks beautiful in that. Okay, NPR. Uh, oh, did I get... I should have closed out of this one. I didn't get anything out of NPRs. Okay, France 24. Uh, <clears throat> normally, tempers, normally, temperatures fall uh, with the end of the southern summer. But... 
the DuMont de Eureville station on Antarctica re registered record temperatures for March with 4.9 4 degrees Celsius, which is 40.82 degrees Fahrenheit, at a time of year when normally temperatures are already sub-zero. <clears throat> so, again, stunning. That, that is stunning. Uh, Gaten Himes of France Matteo or Matteo described this unseasonably mild weather as a quote-unquote historic event. Um, okay, down here. Okay, is this still Gaten Himes? No, this is geoscientist Jonathan Weil. He says... This is a this is a Pacific Northwest 2021 heat wave kind of event. He added, never supposed to happen. So you remember last year there was that that like heat dome that was affecting the Pacific Northwest and also um, I'm pretty sure it was over Canada too, like British Columbia. Um, I'm not sure if Alberta was also under it. Okay, now we're in the the Oregonian, Oregon Live. Um, there were a few more, few more things here of interest. Uh, temperatures 70 degrees above normal in eastern Antarctica have baffled scientists who say that the, quote, unprecedented heat wave, end quote, uh, has already changed the way experts think about an Arctic climate system. So this is like a science-changing event. Um, quote, it is impossible, we would have said until two days ago, end quote. An Arctic climatology expert, Stefano Di Battista, wrote on Twitter Friday. So two days ago, they would have said that what's happening is impossible. And yet, here it is. Shows how much we know when it comes to science. Um, was there anything else on this one? Nope, it's all the, the same information. So... Oh, so there you have it. Let's pull up the map. Let's see. Antarctica. Okay, Antarctica without the temperature. Let's go to the map. It's um, it's stunning. It's stunning. You really, you really would not expect both poles <clears throat> to be warming up at the same time. One in the summer and one in the in the winter and both of them at much 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 higher temperatures than they than they would normally be right uh, something that we just read was uh, uh, they thought was impossible so what other things are going to happen this year that are supposedly impossible this year it is starting out with a bang it really, really is. I haven't even covered everything. Uh, Janet Carlson, if you're watching this, I, I've, I've seen the other things that you put. I'm going to see if I can maybe get to those as well. But in fact, there was, there was a, I think it was a 7.3 earthquake that hit Japan. And I think it was in the Fukushima area uh, up here, Fukushima. This is where uh, there was that uh, tsunami in 2011. So... Uh, I know that that's made news, I'm assuming, I, I think someone had said, maybe even it was Janet Carlson, it was like the third largest in Japan, or or um, I don't know, but it was like really rare, I believe, for this area. So that happened, um, and there's stuff happening all the time, all over, um, but it's really kind of worrying that already, you know, just in March with Texas, uh, they've already had the largest wildfire in state history. What, do, what, what does that mean for the... We're not even to summer yet. We're not even to summer. When does spring begin? Or when do... Yeah. When does spring start? 2022. Has it already started? Uh, oh, tomorrow. It, it starts tomorrow. Uh, March 20th. So, <clears throat> so technically... Uh, that wildfire in Texas started in winter. And uh, either way, even if it was just early spring, that's crazy. <laughs> Obviously, it's just going to keep getting warmer. Uh, and then we're going to get to summer. And uh, what's Texas going to look like? What What is California going to look like? 
you know, they're always having problems with wildfires. What's Oregon going to look like? What's the Pacific Northwest going to look like? What's the rest of the country going to look like? What's uh, Siberia going to look like? Because last year, they were having, uh, up here in Russia, in Siberia, they were having a huge, huge wildfire event. And then Europe was having crazy uh, wildfires too, uh, especially here. There were like a ton of wild wildfires going on in Greece and in Turkey. Um, so, my gosh, these are the signs of the times. When on any given day, you can like pull up the news and then it's like, oh, we're having a record breaking this and a record breaking that. And it looks like an apocalyptic scene. Uh, <laughs> Okay, you know, you know, at that point, when this is becoming almost like a daily occurrence, uh, and of course, that's like an exaggeration, but ki kind of not at the same time. Um, th it's, it's all happening very frequently. There's all these different records that keep getting shattered, and boy, boy, did this shatter a record in, in Antarctica and in the Arctic up here. Um, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. And whenever you hear like uh, statements like this coming from scientists, they, they, they're they usually pretty good at keeping their cool. They they try and stay uh, subject or I mean, not subjective, uh, objective, you know. So when they're saying these just kind of crazy statements like, wow, and oh, I've never seen, you know, things like that. That's really, you know, that's really saying something, I think. So... Um, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. And we're only at the beginning of this year. We're still just in the beginning. Spring starts tomorrow. Um, let's just keep watching. And I hope everyone stays safe. Uh, pray. Pray for the people that are, are being affected. And then pr after that, pray for yourself that you won't be affected by uh, these different judgments that are coming upon the world right now. Um Let's keep watching, right? Because if we watch, then we know we're not going to be taken by surprise. You know, if, if you're already watching this channel, then you're clearly, you're, you're, you're most likely someone that is not going to be surprised when the second coming comes. Uh, I, I do believe that we're getting close. Uh, make sure to go to the temple. There is protection uh, that we can receive by going to the temple. Um be righteous, pay your tithing, just do everything that you you know you need to do. Uh, that's the best that's the best shot that you have in staying safe. It's not an absolute guarantee. There are going to be some righteous that are going to be affected by things like this, but um, do that and it's it's greatly greatly going to increase your chances of escaping these things. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, leave your thoughts, ideas, opinions um, in the comments below. Also make sure to share this with anyone that's, that's not aware of this. Uh, this is probably something that everyone should be aware of, and I'll talk to you guys later.